but uh, sequoia trees lined up both sides of the road. Uh, it's uh, 850. I'm heading to get uh, my weekend tai chi walk and also pick uh, Okibia quinana, uh, very delicious, juicy uh, fruits, uh, indigenous to Korea. Uh, we have very misty uh, morning today. The uh, driving is fantastic feeling. It's uh, October 3rd. Sunday tomorrow is also a holiday Monday but we have a, a what we call substitute holiday temporary holiday because today is the holiday uh, it's also Sunday so it overlaps in that case the following Monday is the holiday so I'm very uh, laid back uh, I'm excited for my uh, long overdue uh, weekend walk I was busy making three chicken coops for the lady uh, at the Silk Road uh, Cafe, uh, but uh, that task is wound up, wound up now, finished. So I'm very relaxed and uh, enjoying the uh, early fall season. This is Changpyeong, uh, Damyang. Uh, to our right is where my sister has another uh, home. She has a home uh, in Gwangju, but she has another home outside Gwangju. So uh, my family uh, frequent uh, her home uh, from time to time. Yeah, that truck is going to my sister's village, 50 kilometers per hour limit. So uh, this is a Hanok village. We see a lot of Hanok and a very massive truck coming along carrying a very heavy big uh, fork crane and that's, that bus uh, is a shuttle bus that carries uh, people or customers for their spa. Uh, yeah, we have a spa resort nearby. The water probably is 27 degrees, so they have to boil the water to like uh, 40 degrees. We have nice village over there in the mountain hills. They are growing. And to our right is the army shooting range for the reservists. Uh, once you are finished with military, you join the reservists. Reserve, reserve, army reserve, and practice uh, soldiering like a, uh, three days per year. You come here and shoot and also learn or practice new skills. So, uh, usually I go through the okay, yeah, I'll go through the red, li red light when there's no traffic, but luckily we have a green light. So I'm going over pass to uh, Dedag Myung. Dedag is a very remote, landlocked, uh, you know, nowhere village. Uh, population is dwindling fast. I believe it's, I don't know, like uh, maybe 600. It's the Myung, Myung, or Mian in Chinese is the uh, uh, the uh, lowest or the smallest administrative unit uh, I'm not the smallest yeah just where the uh, government officials are dispatched so uh, Myon Kun city province and Korea that's how the hierarchy is stacked up. Yeah, I'm going over to another pass. See, uh, we are coming up to uh, Dedagmyeon uh, office. That's the government office. Uh, Korea is also strongly managed by the government. The economy is also managed by the government. 
it's amazing that a government managed country has a very strong economy rank, ranking like a 10th or 16th in the world economy we have a very small remote village now we are going over pass uh, maybe this pass is like uh, 200 or 300 meters above the sea level yeah this house used to host a uh, makeshift unlicensed restaurant but several people ki killed, got killed because that uh, makeshift uh, reed hut caught a fire while they were cooking and they were trapped inside perishing in the big fire you know like 10 minutes so you gotta be careful when you are cooking cooking in a reed or thatch hut there's like a disaster asking for a disaster see we are going over pass now the mist is uh, fainting off uh, dwindling uh, losing out this is a famous uh, cancer research and the hospice and the hospital uh, where they say uh, you have to pay like a seven million one per month there's like a six thousand dollars per month for cure treatment care and alternative treatment seven million won or six thousand won or uh, six thousand dollars that's not a small amount of money so uh, for a year you need to have like a uh, uh, 100 grams <laughs> that's a lot that's a lot yeah now we are going down the pass uh, this is still uh, dead of milk that's the highway that goes to uh, Sunchan and Yosu yeah I used to uh, travel on the road a lot because I was transferred to Suncheon for a year. Uh, yeah, Suncheon is a nice city, small, vibrant, young, uh, nice food, foodie city. And the economy is doing well there, so uh, people are making some money in Suncheon. They have a big corporations. Now we have, uh, we are at the end leg of Tedengmyeon. See, uh, nice houses over there. Whoops! <laughs> uh, yep, we're swerving to the right. Uh, uh, this home is like a makeshift sandwiched panel house uh, I don't know how they uh, endure the noise on the road but they seem to be happy that's the kozu kozu is ching uh, uh, in Korean uh, it's very invasive but they used to be a good father father for rabbits, goats, sheep, uh, cows, but not anymore because many cow farms are using uh, pelletized uh, feed instead of real, uh, real food. Kozu or Qingdong Kool is very invasive in Maryland, uh, according to the YouTube uh, videos. Uh, America made a mistake. Uh, kazoo, you cannot mechanical uh, machinery to harvest kazoo. You need to have a scythe, scythe to cut kazoo, 
and it means very labor intensive. You need a lot of people to cut down kazoo. Otherwise, they would grow and grow and grow, occupy swamps, occupy precious lands, and uh, they uh, approach your home. Uh, yeah, but the kazoo roots are very good. Uh, kazoo leaves are also healthy, and the kazoo shoots or in the early spring, uh, you can make a good tea. Kazoo flowers also, uh, if you brew tea, uh, it produces nice aroma and flavor. Yep, we are now at uh, in Gokseong County, and this is Okwa Myeon. Myeon belongs to county. Uh, so they are building up. Uh, they're building a rotary road. We call it, call it rotary, but it's uh, basically a roundabout. Rotary or roundabout, and they are building a big road, expanding it, because they are building an industrial complex, like uh, four kilometers down the road, and they want to uh, give a big road for the industrial complex so that uh, they could, uh, you know, uh, ship their goods to Gwangju city real quick. So Korea is ever-changing. We are becoming big and big, bigger and bigger every day. Uh, roads are quite developed. Everywhere you go, you don't need a four-wheel drive. Uh, the road system is fantastic. Uh, almost all the roads, including the roads in the mountains, roads in the uh, rice paddies, they are all paved. They are paved in cement and asphalt. Okay, so they are building a uh, asphalt road now, expanding it. We have very thick mist cloud again. Uh, there's a sculpture land, sculpture shop, the uh, uh, masonry. Uh, this is a nice restaurant and tea. I tasted jujube tea before and they are good at it. I recommend it. See, this is becoming an old road. Now on the right side is a new road. Uh, that truck in front of us is carrying uh, pigs, uh, but actually uh, there are no pigs inside, I think. So they are going to a farm to pick up pigs for slaughter. Yeah, you, you like bacon and you follow the truck and you will meet your food source. All the farms are like a factory farm in Korea. Uh, so that's why they use pelletized food, uh, feeds instead of real uh, plants, real brush, uh, or real uh, weeds outside. So, uh, yeah, we are coming up on the uh, Okwa and Osan. Uh, this is where my friend John lives. Uh, currently, he lives in Jeju and he will come back to uh, his home in this uh, village uh, in the mid-October, I think. Uh, hey, John, uh, this is your village. Yeah, I'm taking a weekend power walk in your village now. I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna pick a kibia, quinana, quinana, Q-U-I-N-A-T-A. We call it urum, same pronunciation, as all um, uh, the eyes very very similar almost same so i'm gonna pick a quinana here and uh, that company in front is producing organic fertilizer and the pesticides that's my uh, high school friend's home uh, this is where uh, john lives hey john this is your village and this is Nature and Dream Company.
company name is Nature and Dream. Uh, there's my uh, Nature and uh, Future. Uh, there's where my high school friend uh, is working. He's a CEO. He owns the company. There's a nice chateau for him. We have another masonry. So this is uh, Okwa and uh, I'm coming up. I'm turning right to go to where I, I think I'll go to. Yep. During the weekend, I do like a three hour power walk every day. Uh, yep, I I learned how to walk from my Tai Chi master. Uh, it's good for cancer treatment and also cancer prevention. I don't have a cancer, but uh, I would like to prevent it. Uh, I don't think I would get a cancer without this uh, anti-cancer Tai Chi walk, but I've been walking for nine years and I adapted anti-cancer Tai Chi walk into my walking routine uh, exactly three years ago. So uh, yeah, yeah, why not uh, using this technique while you are walking? So that's why I started to practice anti-cancer Tai Chi walk and uh, this is one of my like a 50 or 70 trials that I use for my weekend uh, Tai Chi walk out of 70 trials there are like a 10 favorite trials that offer uh, nice views scenic views and uh, uh, rustic, serene environment. I think we are almost there uh, somewhere. We have, we are, I'm gonna pull off soon. Uh, Changdan, that's where I pull off now. Very nearby, he's working. They are expanding a very hazardous situation right there. Okay, I think I'll almost there now uh, I don't know where to stop yeah I'm gonna uh, walk in the meandering uh, mountain trail to today uh, the road is on the right side uh, I don't know where to stop maybe I'll stop here yeah I forgot this is my second time to use this villages trail let's see uh, what we've got here Yeah, this is a uh, typical countryside road. I think that's it. Uh, yeah, here, Changdan Mao. Changdan means, <laughs> yeah, blue ribbons, uh, bandolier, blue ribbons. I don't know why they uh, say the blue ribbons. Blue ribbons in the uh, Korean uh, Hwatu or Korean uh, card games. Chongdan, Hongdan. Let's see uh, what we have got here. So that's a village town hall. That's where a uh, village folks gather and talk. Uh, basically, they are separated. Female. There is a female rooms and male room. Uh, sorry, a female room and male room, they are separate. Yep, this is my shoes. I'm changing into my boots, hiking boots. So I changed into my boots. I'm uh, wearing a small sack, like a wallet sack. I'm uh, wearing a shirt long shirt and uh, trunk and I just found it I'm all set I'm heading to the mountains now 
village folks here they separate recycle materials and uh, they are making us that's a popping machine for the local people. Tibabul Pon Saram de Pelos is This is how Tibab is made, a local popping machine. I think it's indigenous Korea, but the China also has these mach machineries. So this is uh, how the popcorn is made. Uh -huh. They are producing ganja. Uh -huh. Ah, you got. <laughs> 강정 만들러 온가 보네요. 강정 만들러 온 건가요? 아. So they use this popped up popped I uh, rice for 강정 as a sweet uh, biscuit. Interesting, interesting. 수고하세요. So uh, this is very typical uh, routine for me. This is, you know, ordinary countryside road. Soon I will go into the mountain over there. Yeah, in the Korean mountains, there are no bears, no uh, wolves, no foxes. Yeah, we have some s snakes. Otherwise, very safe. Uh, you can walk, you can sleep. You can stay in the mountains forever. Uh, females, maybe they are at risk because we have some weirdos, some men, uh, we have rapists, some weirdos. So you got to be careful when you walk alone and you are female. Generally, they are okay. But when the shit happens, you never know. Uh, luckily, I've I've seen uh, like a two to three females walking the mountains so far during the last nine years. Uh, I encountered them. I said hello, and they were very shy and scared. So from now on, I wouldn't say hi. I'll just pass by them without saying hi. That's persimmon. Persimmon. Soon they will fall down to the ground like this, flop, uh, in two weeks. So they are going to harvest your persimmons in two weeks. Yep, uh, you can eat wild persimmons even in December. Very sweet, very delicious, very nutri nutrient, uh, nutritious. There's a LPG supply tank. If it explodes, <laughs> the village will be wiped out. So he says, no fire, no lighting, no access. <laughs> so uh, now I'll start my uh, weekend walk like this. Yeah, double intake and one exhale. I'll do it slowly for you. See, uh, at my uh, boots, toes lifted up or heels touch the ground first. Then at the uh, second turn, second exhale, you twist your body or you turn your torso and head 
like a 45 degrees or 50 degrees to the left and to the right, depending on which foot you started off first. As <laughs> so I started off with my left foot first, at the second exhale, I turn right. <laughs> See? So uh, I'll go inside and maybe climb up some uh, some height and uh, practice my anti-cancer touch walk for two to three hours straight. So uh, thank you for watching and bye bye.